Hi, I'm Ms. Lavodi, and welcome to part one of creating a digital mandala. We're going to be using Medibang Paint, and this video will take you through the steps needed to create a beautiful digital mandala on your iPad. This is an example of our final outcome for this project, so stick with us. Part one of this tutorial will show you how to get to this point by the end of this video. What is a mandala? A mandala in Sanskrit literally means circle. It's a spiritual and ritual symbol in both Hinduism and Buddhism, representing the universe. In common use, mandala has become a generic term for any diagram chart or geometric pattern that represents the cosmos metaphysically or symbolically, a microcosm of the universe. It can also be used as an aid to meditation, helping the meditator to envision and achieve the perfect self. Mandalas were created in the service of one of the world's great religions, Buddhism. Image here is found from Google, and it depicts monks who are creating sand mandalas, which is part of a ceremony. Over the course of 10 days, the monks will pour millions of grains of colored sand, purifying and healing the space and its inhabitants in the process. Shortly after its completion, they will dismantle the mandala to symbolize the impermanence of all that exists. What principle of design is best seen in a mandala? The mandala project will utilize the design principle of balance, specifically radial balance, which is the balance around a central point. Other forms of balance include symmetrical and asymmetrical. Symmetrical balance is a mirror image or reflection, so the balance is the same on both sides. Asymmetrical is not a mirror image. It is balanced, but it is not exactly the same on both sides. Balance refers to the visual weight within a composition. Before we begin, make sure that you have access the template from Schoology that looks like this. This is for our mandala template. It has a gray side and a black side. And this file should be a PNG file. So in Medibank Paint, it should appear with a transparent background that will be visible as a checkerboard. If for some reason it does not show you as a checkerboard, then please let me know as soon as possible. So opening up Medibank Paint, we're going to use a letter size preset and then change the dimensions so they are 8.5 by 8.5 inches. You want a square format for this project, so just make sure you are typing in the correct dimensions in inches so it is a square. I recommend pinching in the screen so the page is completely visible while you're working. I'd like you to double click the picture icon in the layers box to duplicate your transparent layer. So you should now have two transparent layers. And then we're going to click the plus sign, select an image to add, and add in your mandala template. From here, I want you to scale it up a little bit more so it is a little larger. Notice there's still room with white space around it. And do not extract the line art. Either hold your template layer and drag it so it can be moved under your transparent layer. You want to preserve the template, so no, don't draw directly on it. We're going to be using the magic wand tool, which is located on the top menu bar. It is a selection tool. It allows you to select one area of similar color. This is to select one area of our template at a time. So we're going to start in the gray slice. And this will allow us to paint and draw and color in here without our designs extending out past the border of the selection. To begin, you're going to select the magic wand from the top menu bar and then tap the gray piece of your template. Now you'll see that there is a selection around the gray. This means that we won't be able to color outside of this space. You're going to next select the paint bucket tool but make sure you are in your highlighted top layer and that you're never applying color directly to your template layer. Select a color of your choice, and then you are going to tap the gray to apply the color to the gray area. So I'm selecting a pink, tap the screen. Now my color is 
changed from gray to pink. I'm going to go into my brush tool next and from here I'm going to be experimenting with different brush designs that I can apply to this piece of my template. So you're going to select your brush tool and start selecting some contrasting color from your color picker. You're going to keep your magic wand tool in place so don't deselect your template. You're going to be able to draw lines and designs and extend them out past your template and because of the magic wand tool those designs will not extend out. Use contrasting colors, let your brush strokes go to the edge of the piece and play with overlapping lines in a variety of sizes, colors, and how you space out your brush tool so that way you can make different patterns and marks within your template piece. So what I'm doing is going through and finding different brushes to play around with and going into their brush settings to adjust the settings and figure out ways that I can use the brush to create shape. So just by tapping and stamping with the paintbrush and spacing the paintbrushes out, um, I'm able to create more designs rather than just lines with the paintbrush. You need to get into your brush settings and really play around and move things, adjust the settings, and see what you can get these brushes to do to be as creative as possible with your designs. And notice that I'm still allowing myself to see to some of that pink background color. That's okay, that color doesn't need to disappear, but I do wanna fill up the space with designs that are contrasting designs. Once you feel that you have completely designed your first template piece, you want to make sure you're 100% done with it because you will not be able to reselect it with the magic wand again. You're going to move on and select the magic wand and tap the black template piece so that way you can begin creating a contrasting design with contrasting colors in that template piece. So I want you to switch over to the magic wand and again, tap the black template and we're gonna fill this whole section up with some contrasting colors. So I'm picking a slightly different shade of pink for this template piece and I'm gonna go in and start making different contrasting designs uh, with my paintbrush tool again, using different variety of line thickness by adjusting the size of the, of the brush tool. I'm going to play with different opacity of the brush tool and the colors I'm picking. Remember you can stamp with your paintbrush to create different shapes like circles. And just have fun and make a completely different design in this template piece. Remember you do want contrast. So make it interesting and have fun with it. Now it's time to take this piece and make a full circle out of it. You're going to first deselect the mandala template piece that you're working on by clicking the magic wand tool and clicking to deselect. You'll see that option at the top of your screen. So make sure you're doing that so that way we can free up our workspace and be able to create a full circle from this piece. We're going to duplicate this mandala piece by clicking the double picture icon in the layers box. This will make an exact duplicate of the layer for you. 
So I'm tapping the double layer icon and I am going to have two pieces now stacked on top of each other. In order for me to start turning this into a circle, I'm going to click the three dots and click flip left or flip horizontal. This will make a symmetrical image for me. So I'm noticing that I have a half circle now and I want to nudge it over to make sure that there's no gaps in between the two pieces. So I'm going to move over to the cursor tool that looks like the little crosshairs. It's on the top menu box, top menu layer. And we're gonna just nudge it over so that way these pieces do not have any spaces in between them because later on those pieces that are separate will show up and we don't want that. So I'm in that move tool and I have just adjusted it. Now I'm going to duplicate this flipped piece by clicking the three dots in the layer box again and this time I'm selecting to flip it vertically. So I have duplicated my slice and now I am clicking flip vertical. Here you can see that there is a little bit of that gap there again. So go back into your move tool and nudge it to adjust it into place. It's okay if the pieces overlap a little bit. You'd rather have a little bit of overlapping than have the white space gap showing through. Now we're going to duplicate this piece. So we're repeating that process, three dots, click flip left or flip horizontal, whatever option is available to you on your Medibang Paint version. So this has to get flipped over. And now you'll see that I have a full mandala circle happening. Now this is actually not your finished and final mandala. So just again, adjust that into, into place with your move tool. So this is not your finished mandala. We still have a little bit more to do. You're not going to be submitting this piece yet. But what I'd like you to do is take a screenshot and submit this as your process for today.